Now let me dig deep into the ingredients of Joanna Werger's exfoliating mask and see if it's actually worth the huge amount of dollars. The first ingredient I would like to talk about is choline. Choline is a type of clay. It absorbs excess oil, gets rid of all the dirt and grime from the surface of the skin. The next ingredient is pumice stone crystals. Pumice stone is made when lava and water combine together. Pumice stone crystals is a physical exfoliating agent. Now what happens is cells from the visible layer of the skin have to fall off. The old cells have to fall off so that they can make way for the newer and younger cells from the deeper layers of the skin. Often some of these cells don't fall off. They are very stubborn. They they just form clumps and stick together on the visible layer of the skin. Now these cells need some extra push to fall off. Now these unwanted cells, they create a dull complexion. They also clog the pores and form whiteheads and blackheads and pimples and acne and all that nasty stuff. So they need to be given some extra push so that they can fall off. And that's where the exfoliating agents come into play. There are two types of exfoliating agents. One is a physical exfoliating agent and the second one is a chemical exfoliating agent. Now pumice stone crystals are physical exfoliating agent. That means they are an abrasive. They literally scrub off the stuff old cells, unwanted cells and make them fall off, get them off the visible layer of the skin. Further down the ingredient list, like around 15th item on the ingredient list, you've got an ingredient called lactic acid in this product. Lactic acid is a chemical exfoliant. So what it does is, you know how I said all these unwanted cells, they form clumps on the visible layer of the skin, they all stick together. So what lactic acid does is, it goes and gently breaks the bond between these unwanted cells. By breaking the bones between these unwanted cells, by breaking the glue that's holding these unwanted cells together, they make the cells fall apart and then they eventually fall off the visible layer of the skin. Now lactic acid is a good chemical exfoliant. It is gentle on the skin and it's tolerated by most skin types. It is also a moisturizing agent. So not only does it exfoliate, it also moisturizes the skin. But you see the disappointing thing is lactic acid is way down the ingredient list in this product. Wish it was a bit higher up. And further down the ingredient list, you've got another ingredient called lactose. Now lactic acid is just one component of this ingredient, lactose. So when lactose is applied on the skin, lactic acid has to be extracted from lactose. So I wish they'd avoided all this complexity and all this added layers of extraction and conversion and just used more lactic acid. The product has a good set of humectants. It's got glycerin, sodium hyaluronate and sugarcane extract. Humectants are water magnets. They attract water from the environment and bring it to the surface of the skin and thus keep the skin hydrated. You see, when you exfoliate your skin, your skin does become quite sensitive immediately afterwards because you see you've kind of peeled off some of the cells from the top layer of the skin so it needs all the tender love and care that you can give so having a hydrating ingredient like a humectant in this product is a good thing the product does have two other ingredients called mica and titanium dioxide these two ingredients don't actually add to any function in the product but they do provide a cosmetic benefit to the product they kind of brighten up your skin so you see instead of having all these ingredients I wish they had more exfoliating agent ingredients because that's what this product is supposed to do the product does have an ingredient called galactorabinan it's extracted from large trees this ingredient is mentioned multiple times on the website and on the marketing and the promotional material of most of the products from this particular manufacturer now uh, the company says that this ingredient adds a series of benefits to the uh, skin uh, it's supposed to increase the efficacy 
efficacy of the alpha hydroxy acids. Alpha hydroxy acids are the exfoliating agents and the only exfoliating alpha hydroxy acid used in this product is lactic acid and that to weigh down the ingredient list. So apparently this extract from large trees is supposed to increase the efficacy of lactic acid. It also apparently brings in some hydration to the skin, keeps the skin hydrated, keeps the skin moisturized. So that's my review about this product. I am not really sure why it is so highly priced. Colleen, which is a clay mask, you can get that uh, for less than $5 and you can get other products which has got exfoliating agents like lactic acid for far, 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 far less amount. So I am not sure what is that huge benefit that this product offers for that huge dollar amount. So that's my review for this product, unfortunately. If you do use this product, please make sure you put in adequate sun protection after using the product because skin does become sensitive after using an exfoliating agent, especially an exfoliating agent which is a chemical exfoliant. Do moisturize the skin, give it some hydration, put some occlusive thick layer of uh, a cream or something like that which can keep and retain all that moisture and the hydration in the skin. And um, if you did like this video, please give it a like and do subscribe to the channel. It will really help me a lot.